Good morning, folks. We had some minor volcanic activity in Indonesia yesterday. We have confirmed cases of H5N1 nearby and also slightly north in Vietnam. This area has seen a surplus of moderate seismic activity. The regional swarms were occurring in Japan and Russia yesterday and obviously near Central America a few days ago where we still have three or four volcanoes on watch. A controlled fire in Colorado turned out not to be so controlled. The videos of the families escaping there are pretty intense. Yesterday it was microbes on Enceladus, well today this article discusses habitability on Europa. Great read. You may remember that the US agreed to give North Korea food in return for halting their missile tests. Well North Korea has gone back on that and they are now fueling at a launch site. This is the same issue I have discussed before. It's a very serious potential flashpoint. Here's a good site to bookmark. Torcon. The tornado likelihoods with the higher number indicating higher chances of tornadoes. You can see the system here moving into the center of the United States and it will cause pressure systems to converge. The highest watch today is for Kansas and Missouri. This is the critical frequencies in the F1 ionospheric layer for the year 1999. Now while this value measured in megahertz details the highest frequency wave that can be skipped off of that layer, it also allows us to witness the slow cumulative change in our protective layers. Watch as we come up to solar maximum in the early 2000s and then comes back down for solar minimum. But in 2006, something changes. And while I can't say exactly what this means for radio propagation, I can tell you that this ambient electrostatic level is unheard of, and the sole reason to watch the day-to-day -day solar activity beyond the kill shot. Speaking of space weather, high solar wind density and speed has died down as you can see here. You can see no red here on the auroral oval and the KP index is flatlined. There was a tiny eruption on the central part of the disk, and there are a few magnetic filaments, but the solar watch begins today for one reason only. I expect that massive region, former 11429, to show herself at some point. Get your popcorn ready. That's the news, folks. Be safe.